I'm back again, it's your girl Kizzy K and it is Witch Casket June subscription unboxing. I'm so, so psyched for this one. Now, as I mentioned in uh, last month's one, um, Witch Casket came out saying that they are releasing their biggest ever witch casket exclusive items and it contains nine items in this month's one so i was uber excited and they did do a little spoiler teaser um on one of the very special uh exclusive items in their on their instagram um Obviously it wasn't a, a bam, this is what you're getting, it was a swipe if you want to see it. So I really respected that because there are a lot of people that kind of like to just wait and see. Me, I was just like, I need to know. Um, so I'm super, super excited. I've had a sneaky peek already and oh my god, this is literally one of the best boxes yet. So let's delve in so anybody that has just seen my channel i like to do the unboxing of witch casket because witch casket i have now been subscribed with them for maybe about a year now or just coming up to a year i can't quite remember it's near around the year mark um so every month i will do the unboxing so i go through everything that's in the box i go through the um leaflet first that has everything written in it and any information in it that i think you guys need to know so like the ingredients in the tea um just in case uh because i know there are some people that don't like certain types of teas or herbs and stuff like that so i tell you what are in them and then obviously if you have the box then it's up to you if you want to drink them or not i have quite a lot of mine still in my kitchen and i will drink them <laughs> but when i'm in the mood because i'm not much of a tea drinker but anyway zip that cozy because that's not important so let's get digging in i'm so excited so this month is all about spellcraft. How cool. And I want to show you guys this because it is such a beautiful art illustration. I love it. It's so beautiful. Okay, so then this me so <laughs> this means I don't know what that means. <laughs> so in the book booklet there are spell cards um so these are a unique box of 25 capturing spell cards especially especially for you these informative cards carry information across the popular five categories uh candle spells crystal magic spell jars witches brew and witchy tips um try pulling a card a day to see magic the cards hold for you that day add them to your altar or your book of shadows allow them to encourage you to practice simple but powerful magic an opulent oracle slash tarot cloth i love this cloth it is a cracking idea it's nice and simple but it is awesome and it's so pretty an embossed book of shadows that is what the spoiler was on their instagram uh, a Celentine ob obelisk, I can never pronounce that properly, in a bespoke pouch. A passion and vitality ritual kit, as always. A power-up spell oil. So this oil is uh, to enhance the magic that you are casting. Um, so you can use it to anoint your candles. You can put it in your bath. You can put it in aura sprays um oil burners it diffuses anything that you can put an oil in you can pop this power oil in and it will help increase and power up that magic and that spell which is awesome 
an enamel pin. As you all know, I love my enamel pins. <laughs> uh, a Spellcraft parchment scroll. Excuse me. A fortune teller art print. I always do my art prints. I'm running out of space. I may have one left on that space and then I'm going to have to find another area to carry it on because <laughs> it's, it's, yeah, I'm running out of space. Uh, a protection tea blend and a black jasper tumble stone with an info card. So the tea blend, um, it contains fennel and peppermint. Uh, the magical properties for fennel is protection and peppermint's magical properties is purification. Um, so it has fennel, and peppermint and black tea, antioxidant level high, caffeine content high. And I always go say that because some people don't like a high caffeine content or a high um, antioxidant, depending on what level you can take. So then, let's delve in. First off, I'm obsessed. This is the divination art print. It is gorgeous. I love it. Love that so much. This is the altar cloth. When they said it was an old, when when they said it was a cloth, I was like, oh no, I've already got my altar cloth from a couple of previous boxes back. I don't, I don't want to change it. But now it turns out it's an oracle or a tarot cloth, which is gorgeous. So it has your past, the present, and your future. I just love the uh, material. It's like. I don't know, it's kind of like a velvety feel. I love it. And I love it. It's so simple, but it is perfect for doing a quick three card read. This, I love this. It's so small. I think I may actually carry this around in my bag. But this is the Book of Shadows. Gorgeous, I love it so much. There is so much detail. I'm obsessed. And then if you turn it on the side, like all the pages on there are black. But obviously when you open it up, it's all blank. But it has really pretty little patterns at the top as well. And the bottom. And then obviously it gives you a little um thing to what you call them, bookmarker style things, and it's a really nice material, it's, it's like quite soft, it's, yeah, it's strange, I love it though, I love it so much, it's so tiny. So it's great if you are starting off, um, and you do need a book of shadows, but you're not, you don't want a big book of shadows, I have a big book of shadows, um, and I kind of note things down, before I transfer into my book of shadows because I don't want to screw up and make it look ugly. I want to make my book of shadows pretty um, and precise and readable. So having something like this where I can just jot things down kind of makes my levels of stress <laughs> lower and my, you know, I can be a bit more crafty because it's got a lot of paper and I'm pretty sure maybe, hopefully, they will have it for sale as well in their shop. Because um, I may get a couple of these because I think these are just gorgeous. I love all the all that artwork on it. It's gorgeous. I love it, I love it, I love it. I love it. And da -da -da, the enamel pin, which is adorable. And it says, oh, I don't want to try and get you to... Okay, it's a spell book on it. I love it. It's so cute. And then on the back, it's like a little bear. I love it. And now I'm running for this. There we go. So I love that. I've just actually started putting all my um, pins back on, um, which is fun. Because I have a lot of them. <laughs> um, but now my jacket is looking a lot more better. I've got some patches that I need to carry on sewing, but I'm waiting for my thimble to come because my fingers was killing yesterday. So, anyway, this is the Celentine Obelisk. It is the most... I love Celentine. Celentine is just such a stunning crystal to have. And I will tell you the benefits of it. 
and uh, uh, no, that's uh, 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 there we go. A celadine is a spiritual stone of calm and peace, an excellent stone to clear the mind and encourage insight and good judgment. This makes them perfect for meditation. Obelisks are energy amplifiers and are used to dissipate negative energies. They can also be used like a, ro a <laughs> like a wand to direct energy. Together with this bewitching bespoke pouch, this exclusive item is both beautiful and practical. So that's a great idea. If you don't have a wand or you've misplaced your wand or you've broken your wand, you can use these as a substitute wand. And as it says, it helps amplify uh, the energies, it helps get rid of, dissipates all the negative energies, meditation with them. You can use them also for um, chakra healing and cleansing and helping bring in your alignment back into, well, back into alignment. <laughs> so that is amazing, I love that. And then I'm loving how they give us two now. Um, they are, this is the protection tea blend with fennel and peppermint. And it smells beautiful. So I may have to try this because I need to do a couple of spells soon because it's nearly Letha. Uh, I think that is in three days. So I want to do something for Letha. So a nice protection spell, maybe a home protection spell as well as a personal. Spell. So this is a tumbled black jasper. I've never seen black jasper before. I thought it was um, obsidian, but it's a tumbled black jasper. So black jasper is believed to protect its bearer from danger, hexes and negative energies. Associated with the base chakra, so crown, third eye, throat, heart so yeah so like around your stomach to the groin um it can help you feel more grounded motivated and emotionally strong so again this would be great for meditation to help you with your grounding which is a great idea i love that idea let's have a go so this is the power up okay i've watched i've been watching sailor moon lately so some of the things I say are like, like anime inspired. <laughs> and there we go. So this is the power of oil. Let's give it a sniff. Sniffing a whiff. Wow, that is strong. Ooh. It reminds me of, I'm going to sound like such an alcoholic saying this, and I'm not. But it reminds me of Fireball. And that's what that reminds me of. Mm. Ginger and cinnamon. So yeah, it's like Fireball. <laughs> oh wow, that was amazing. That's so nice. I'd be interested in the bath actually. That would be an interesting one. Um, okay then, so this is the Passion and Vitality Ritual Kit. Let's have a look. Let's see what we get out. Okay, so with it you get a red tea light, which is for passion. Oh, sorry, I love the smell of both of these. So you have milk thistle for strength and vitality and mint for passion and well-being. Again, as always, with what I like to say about these boxes are... Everything is biodegradable. These bags are biodegradable. The peanuts are biodegradable. The, obviously the box is biodegradable. Everything in it is biodegradable. Apart from, I think maybe the plastic. Oh no, there's no plastic on that. So yeah, everything is biodegradable, which is something I, I'm very like all for because I don't like buying stuff that is not biodegradable. Okay, so for this you do, Think about the area in your life where you would like to see more passion. Maybe you are seeking sexual passion, or perhaps you have lost your passion for a particular hobby or project. That's, good, that's true. Um, so think about your intention before you begin. Sit with a candle and each herb 
and each herb in turn, charging them with your intention. Feel gratitude for the positive outcome they will bring. Blend the herbs together by stirring them clockwise, as you say. As I blend, I ask of thee to invoke vitality. Stir up passion just for me, as I will it, so mote it be. Set your candle on a heat resistant tile plate slate or dish. Circle the herbs around the outside of the candle and light the candle. Now sit and meditate, focusing on the flame. Feel the passion rising in and around you. Feel yourself becoming a magnet for passion, for passionate energy and positive outcomes. Vitalize your desires. Once the flame has burned down, you can dispose the candle and give the herbs back to nature with gratitude. I like that because I am lacking passion for some things like so on my courses I'm losing my my passion for them and really want to get them done so maybe doing that would be a fabulous idea um let's do the parchment scroll I, I want to do the spell candles last because I'm really intrigued with those okay uh, okay come on here we go don't rip don't rip I always love how much creativity gets in, put into these as well. Okay, so the Spellcraft parchment. Oop, I that. <laughs> uh, the crafting and casting of spells needs to be needn't be as intimidating as it sounds. And then it tells you, so starting out and stocking it up, when you are deciding what herbs, oils, candles, colours, etc. you should use for a particular spell, research is your best friend. And try not to use just one resource. You can verify the authenticity of the information by you find by cross-referencing. Read books and blogs by trusted authors. Ask witches you know to share their knowledge and experience. With the essentials you need is relatively easy and inexpensive. Uh, setting your attention. The very first thing you need to do before crafting and casting a spell is to decide what your intention is. Gather your supplies. Whether your supplies are one singular candle or a whole altar full of magical candles, herbs, oils and brews. Ensure you are using tools which match the intention you've already set. Crafting and casting your spells, so it helps. It's basically, and um, be authentic. So it's basically just telling you how to do your spell casting. So, like it says, um, before you do anything, make a a visualization in intention. Um, on what you want and obviously make sure you do everything correctly if you're unsure there's people to talk to or again um there are a lot of facebook pages out there um that are like wicker and witchcraft um and a lot of people on there will be like can anybody help me with this and then loads of people help so i normally stick to either my friends that i know that are witches um, or I will go into one of the Facebook groups and ask them because Google can sometimes be a little bit iffy but if I have to then I will go on to Google but Google is normally my last resort for information on witchcraft. So last but not least are the spell candles. An enchanting box of simple spells, tips and brews. Witch Casket exclusive spell cards hold magical answers to everyday problems. I was excited for these. These are so cute. So, so it gives you a lot of different things. Okay, so the first card that there was was Abundance. So it's a spell for abundance. So it tells you to light a green candle and repeat the following with intent and then meditate. And then it gives you 
the spell to meditate. There's de-stress and calming am anger spell, uh, insight spell, grounding spell, creativity, um, confidence, and it tells you that the tiger's eye it tells you what stone's good for confidence, as so it gives you what crystals are good for confidence. So tiger's eye is great for confidence. Uh, if you're grieving, lepidolite, le lepidolite, I can never pronounce that, is good for grief. Healing is amethyst. Focus is fluorite. Power, clear quartz. Uh, love, it says rose quartz, rose petals, chamomile and affirmations. Abundance, green adventuring, dried orange peel, nutmeg and bergamot. Anti-anxiety, moonstone, lavender, chamomile, heart's ease. Healing, amethyst, lavender, dandelion leaf and rosemary. Protection, black tourmaline, nettle, bay leaf, fennel and seeds. Protection, nettle and mint, thistle and cinnamon. So that's a, a witch's brew. Oh, it tells you on the back as well, that's wicked. Uh, Anti-anxiety, psychic power. So if you want to open up your psyche a bit better. Um, love, depression. Uh, tips. Um, para, witch's bell, carry key, bay, light, bay leaf wishes, and stir it up. So these are so cool. So I'll show you the backs of some of these then. So if they're candle magic spells, they come up with that on the back. So it'll come up with a candle on the back. Candle, candle. And then anything that is with information on crystals, it will have crystal magic on the back. I did not notice that until I turned it around. <laughs> uh, anything for spell jars will have spell jars written on the back. These are so cool. Uh, witches brews will have a nice little decap. And then anything that is a tip will have a pentagram and witches tips written on the bottom. Back and bottom. I love them, they're amazing. So I'm meeting a new friend, uh, a new witchy friend, actually, I made today, and she's awesome. So um, I'm actually going to take these along because she wants to know more. And she's been on the path for a couple of years, but she's looking to enhance her knowledge and stuff. So I'm going to go and basically promote this to her um, and see what she thinks, because I think these are one of the best things that you can get. But that's just my opinion. Um... So I hope you have enjoyed this box, this month's one. This is June's one. God, it's June already, it's crazy. Um, yeah, so I hope you have enjoyed June's Witch Casket with their new highest um, use of their Witch Casket exclusive items. I'm, I'm so obsessed and I'm so in love and I actually think that is one of the best ones that they've done yet. So I'm really looking forward to the rest of them now um because that has like really just like knocked the ball out like that's like psh, home run baby um so yeah so as always at the end of these videos i tell you no i am not a uh, i'm not being paid for this i pay for this myself out of my own money uh if you want to know the price if you are in the uk it's 27 pound and it's it goes well uh, the subscription closes on the 15th of each month and um, so if you order on the 16th then you will not get your casket until say july's one so you'd miss out on this one because obviously you've missed the date uh the cutoff day uh if you're in the outside of the uk i think it might be 30 pound or it could be 29 pound it's like closer to the £30 mark but for definite for the UK it is £27 and you normally get it in two to five days I get mine in two so I'm quite happy about that um but yeah obviously please check them out um they do have a shop but you can't shop it in it unless you are a subscriber if you are a subscriber then each month they will send out an email to say that you know it's been sent and if you want to go into the shop 
here is your password and then you click on the shop and then you have to type the password in it is case sensitive and then you can shop and buy like previous items from previous caskets and stuff that they don't put in the bus in the caskets because they'd be too expensive and then they would have to put the prices up or whatever I know they've just brought out their own new merch as well and I'm buzzing because I really really want to get them all um so I'm going to be like a proper witch casket crew <laughs> kitted hopefully before Christmas um but yeah, so I really hope you enjoyed um, June's um, uh, um, <laughs> not with it. I hope you have enjoyed June's unboxing. There we go, I got my words out in the end. I hope you all have a fabulous weekend and I hope you guys are keeping yourself warm or cool, should I say, and safe from the heat as well as any animals that you guys have have a wonderful weekend and if i don't catch you soon i will be with you guys next month for july switch casket take care and bless me <laughs>